Hey everybody, this is Corbin C. Capsule slash I miss the smiles a lot again with my uh, chiropractor, Dr. Savello. Savello, I keep getting, I want to keep putting a T in front of your name. I don't know why. That's Trent Savello. <laughs> Today, uh, we're going to be working on deep tissue and some popping. Um, I'm not really as tight as I was a long time ago or last time we had our session. So, might get some pops, but I think today's going to be more of a Theragun kind of day. Yeah, you know. just kind of get blood flowing and just soften the musculature. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I, like I said, my back's a little tight, my legs a little bit tight, but otherwise, like, I'm not as bad as last time. So I'm ready to get started. Yeah, let's do it. Perfect. All right. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff coming in, but we would rather have our things fully furnished and painted yeah. and realize, oh, we don't need this versus put it in there, and then realize like we mm -hmm. did too uh, ahead of time. You know, so it's, it's kind of messy, but that's life. Right side is a little stiffer than the left. Yeah. Okay. So like I said, I'm not tight tight, but I'm definitely like, yeah, there's something, you know. I got some kinks, but not too many. Let's give you a little push here, deep breath again. All the way out with the same thing on the table. Oh yeah, that felt good. How you think that little push thing wouldn't do much for your hips, but oh, yeah. you realize how well, out of alignment your hips are when you do it. A little one inch drop. Yeah. You know, it's not that you're a nobody, but you know, we're kind of, you know, COVID's happening. And, you know. Yeah, it's tough because you need the experience, but nobody wants to give you the experience. So. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Every time. <laughs> 
Let me catch one like the Joker over here. Oh, yeah. adjustments and then uh, we'll take the shirt off and then we'll do a little more up around the shoulders. Perfect. Yeah, I told totally, him, like I said, I, I, I told, I, I think I said them, I told them it might be tight, but yeah. once you started pressing, I'm like, yep, they're tighter than I thought. <laughs> Laying your wrist on. patients where they lost a bunch of weight and you found out that it was easier to get to certain joints than before like you found out they're more flexible they've been oh, better, yeah. better posture or whatever posture but just uh stress off the joints man i mean you're these joints are taking a lot you know yeah i can tell i'm feeling better i mean than i did before like you know i mean go out there and just hold two 20 pound kettlebells just realize like mm -hmm. that's a lot of weight you know I mean yeah I just walk laps with those 20 pound kettlebells in your hand and you're you're gonna be tired you realize like that's how your body felt all the time oh, yeah well I fell off a little bit at the beginning you know like when I first started my job I got shot up to 285 but then I got back down to 255 and thank god that I did because I was like I can't do this to myself again I refuse to be 350 15 pounds ever again. I'm not doing it. Oh. And everyone's like, what'd you do? What'd you change your diet? I'm like, I I've just met intermittent fasting. I still eat and drink when I want. I'm an adult, but honestly, it's the manual labor job I do every day that's been doing it. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's up with all these other oh, content creators? Why do their videos look so good? I know they can't afford those fancy cameras, and then I see that they're using cinematic mode. I'm like, really? That's all it takes? <laughs> mm. Well, that's true. They they can't afford it. Just like you know. Because I mean, obviously they got sponsors and all that. <laughs> They're famous, more, way more famous than I am. So it's like, yeah, I'm just like, oh, yeah. Oh, it comes the best part. Man. 
Wow. a nerve down my leg on that one. <laughs> I was like, ooh, kind of got tinkly on my right leg there. <laughs> it's funny how our anatomy is connected to like that, man. You ever been hit in one part of your body and felt pain in, the, in another part? You're like, that doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. I hurt my toe, but my right pinky is, but my right pinky, or my uh, left, uh, like, so you got hurt my right toe, but my left pointer finger is hurting like what <laughs> have you watched the james bond movie where that guy got the bullet in his head and it's like hit it's lodged in there enough to the point where you can't feel pain remember someone like oh, yeah. james bond's just knocking on him he's not feeling anything i'm like come on like <laughs> yeah. do, you, do you not feel the bullet going slowly further into your brain there like because <laughs> that was downside I think it was that the bullet was like slowly going further and further and the more wind was gonna kill him eventually he was like well I can't feel pain so I'm gonna become a super villain I'm like what <laughs> <laughs> honestly if I couldn't feel pain if I had that superpower somehow mm -hmm. I'd probably go into prefer I like and if I didn't I have said this to a lot of people if I didn't have a kid and a good career and you know, my amazing wife. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, you can be a fighter, a cage fighter, and, and have that. But I feel like if you're a fighter, that's literally your whole life. So if I weren't married and my life didn't work out the way that it did, I probably would have pursued professional fighting. I mean, I was really good back in my yeah. day, you know. But I'm also like, again, so back to the not feeling pain thing. Oh, dude, if I had the power to not feel pain, I would yeah. immediately go into cage fighting. <laughs> or, like, yeah. immediately go into pro fighting. Because I'd be like, <laughs> Like you're gonna knock me out, but I'm not gonna feel it. <laughs> yeah. Although that could be a disadvantage because you could be really injured and not even know it. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're going to kind of swing your leg or something, but your hip's not even in the socket. Yeah. And then you try to put your foot down and you fall over because your legs literally just limp and you're like, yeah, you're trying to do like a headlock, but your bicep's torn and you don't even know. You can't even. <laughs> You know the strength. Oh yeah. This pain's got purpose, right? Yeah. One thing I could wish we could get rid of is uh when you get hit in our genitals, there's like can we get rid of that pain? That'd be great, uh -huh. you know, like especially as men. Oh man. Oh, this feels so good. I'm sure it's the same with your kid, but my kid's kind of getting to that size too, where whenever I hold him, his feet swing right at that height, and he's got these uncontrollable body movements, and he always kicks me in the kicks me in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he steps along mine a lot. I'm like, buddy, <laughs> just climbing on you. Yeah, or crawl that one big big. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Gotta love it though, man. Gotta love it. It's like, I love you so much, but boy, I'm crying right now. <laughs> right, let's take the shirt off and go face down and work on the ass for the blue. All right.
Oh, that's this stuff. So did you originally start a lifetime, like this whole time after you got your uh, chiropractic, is that right, where the chiropractic degree, is that right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, I graduated about, it's maybe almost eight years ago, wow. um, so I practiced in Southern California for three years, right. but then in the Chesterfield Valley for about a year and a half, two years, so then uh, I've been here so huh. since this place opened uh, three years ago. Does better location and stuff, and yeah, it's been good. Hours close with the pay as well, but that's awesome. Yeah, like <clears throat> nothing better than finding a job that works good with your schedule, you know? Yeah, yeah. Chiropractors, uh, we do work pretty tough schedules, or some of us do, uh, just because. Early mornings, a lot of people, I guess, for the average show that works nine to five, they want to come at seven, eight a.m. and then they want to come at four, five, six p.m. You know, mm -hmm. so there's usually kind of this dead time from like noon to three. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I've been able to kind of find a schedule that works pretty well. Cool. But if you try again. So it took you about four years to get your degree, right? Yeah, I mean, there's a four-year undergrad, and then it took uh, another three years to get the uh, the doctorate. Right. So a lot of school. Yeah. Almost. Well, I mean, it was medical school, but it almost sounds like as much as to become like a, a doctor, doctor, but yeah, because. Uh, you have to know anatomy and all that. And yeah, the whole program's uh, pretty. The the first two years, so it's, it's three and a half years uh, as the doctor program, and the first two years are almost the exact same as any kind of medical program. And then in that last year and a half, once we start to learn more treatment technique classes, adjusting technique and whatnot, um, that's when the medical schools start to learn more about pharmaceuticals and. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of where we uh, divert. Gotcha. So, well, basic sciences are the exact same. It's just we just treat very differently than them. Right, you're not cutting people open up and doing emergency. <laughs> uh, I bet, though, you know enough anatomy to where... If you wanted to pursue that, it'd probably take you a while starting it up now, but you probably could, though. Yeah. But I'm guessing you were like, I like making people feel good, but like in a different way, right? Yeah. yeah. I can, uh, I can treat people after the big injuries, but I can also just work with just general maintenance care. And, right. Um, Obviously, I like you and I like coming to you because you know, like, what I need and stuff. Versus, I'm, I'm not saying that the chiropractors here would know, but we've been together for a while now. So, what's the one thing that you say, would say, 
that people have said to you a lot that like makes you stand out from other chiropractors, you know, like a positive thing, you know? Uh, this right here, this deep muscle work. I was going to say, this has got to be it. A like, lot of chiropractors <laughs> just don't really do this, but I think that this is the difference that it takes to uh, to assure that the, uh, the joint doesn't mm -hmm. just stiffen right back up and go right back where it was. Right. Because these muscles are attached to bones, and I can make an adjustment and try to move the bone, but if muscles are tight, they're just going to pull things right back where they were. Right. And it just doesn't really give you much lasting relief. So when we can do this kind of muscle work, we can see the, uh, the benefits of this treatment last a lot longer. Right. <clears throat> That's probably why I'm, I mean, I was pretty tight, but you know, not as much as the last time I was here, and because of the deep tissue, I'm pretty sure that helped a lot, you know. Yeah. That's why I'm a lot better off this time. So thank you for that. Oh, I feel so much better. Let's just do this there again one more time. Oh yeah. Oh my. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh, that feels so good. This is Carpenters and Capital Sasha. I mention smiles a lot yet again here with Dr. Savello. Thank you so much. I clearly needed that. I feel like I could pass out. So we worked on. Well, why don't you explain real quick? You know. Yeah, I mean, we made a big, a couple big adjustments. Um, really stiff in the lowest part of the back, kind of in the pelvis and low back, um, but really locked up, kind of upper back, lower neck. Um, so those are also the areas that we do a little more, more muscle work, just kind of digging along the paraspinal muscle, along the spine, upper traps, and around the side of the neck. Um, yeah, nothing too bad, but yeah. I can tell you, you needed this one. Oh, yeah, definitely. So the most important thing, guys, like I keep saying, and like he keeps saying, we'll always work on your posture. Make sure that you, whatever adjustments or alignments that feels out of order, tell, tell your chiropractor, tell your doctor, because the last thing you want to do is have a further injury or to come in and not realize that something's really hurt and they work on it, then, you know, you might accidentally end up hurting. Not saying you would hurt them more, but if they don't know, like, ah, you know, not paying attention. And, um, you know, always be honest with your chiropractor, too. And um, I'm telling you, if you guys need one of the best, and I mean the best in St. Louis, you need to come to this guy. I've been with him for about two months now. Let me tell you, I'm going to be here for a while. So thank you again, sir. Appreciate, yeah, appreciate it. Seriously. It. Yeah, that's great. Guys, please like, subscribe, and share. I love you all. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.